In a short time, AI has gone from recognizing photos of cats to generating high quality essays and paintings and music. Along with these amazing capabilities have come many worries. Will AI take people's jobs? To answer that, let's look to radiology. In 2016, Jeffrey Hinton, who is a pioneer in deep learning and a friend of mine, said to a conference of machine learning engineers that AI is becoming so good at analyzing X-rays that within five years they, would, they could take radiologists' jobs. Now, seven years later, AI is still far from replacing radiologists. Why is that? Well, two reasons. First, it turns out that interpreting X-rays is, is harder than it had looked back then, though we are making progress. Um, and second, radiologists actually do much more than interpret X-ray images. They also do tasks like gather patient's history or uh, develop a treatment plan. And AI is so far from being able to automate all of these tasks that a radiologist does. Because many jobs comprise lots of different tasks, and AI automates tasks rather than jobs, we're still very far from AI being able to fully automate many jobs. But AI does automate tasks, and so the nature of work will change. Now, <clears throat> I don't mean to minimize the challenge of helping many people adopt AI, or the suffering of the much smaller number of people whose jobs will disappear, or our responsibility to make sure they have a safety net, and that they have an opportunity to gain new skills. But with every major wave of technology innovation, from the steam engine to electricity to the computer, the technology has created far more jobs than it has destroyed. What if AI takes over and kills off humanity? I mean, this is terrible. So we know that poorly designed software can have a dramatic impact. But can AI wipe out humanity? I don't see how. Some were worried about AI being used by a bad actor to destroy humanity, say by creating a bioweapon. Others were worried about AI driving humanity to extinction inadvertently, similar to how humans have driven many other species to extinction through simple lack of awareness that our actions could lead to that outcome. I tried to evaluate how realistic are these arguments, but I found them to be vague and non-specific. They mostly boil down to, it could happen. But I do know this. Humanity has ample experience controlling things far more powerful than any one of us, such as corporations and nation states. And there are also many things that no one can fully control that we nonetheless consider very valuable and safe. For example, take airplanes. No one can fully control an airplane today is buffeted around by winds and turbulence, and the pilot may make a mistake. In the early days of aviation, airplanes killed a lot of people. But we learned from those experiences and built safer aircraft and devised better rules by which to operate them, so that today, most of us can step into an airplane without fearing for our lives. Similarly, with AI, we are learning to better control it and making it safer every day. I don't think we need less AI, we need much more. The flaws of AI today, I think, are engineering problems to be solved, rather than a fundamental evil force that must be stopped. In other words, AI is not the problem, it's the solution. Intelligence is the power to apply skills and knowledge to make good decisions. We invest years of our lives and trillions of dollars on education, all to develop our ability to make better decisions. Human intelligence is very expensive. This is why only the wealthiest among us can afford to hire huge amounts of intelligence, like that specialist doctor to carefully examine, think about, and advise you on a medical condition, or a tutor that can truly take the time to understand your child and gently coach them where they need help. But unlike human intelligence, Artificial intelligence can be made cheap. So AI opens up the potential for every individual to hire intelligence inexpensively, so that you no longer have to worry about that huge bill from going to see a doctor for falling sick or for getting an education. And you're able to hire an army of smart, well-intentioned, well-informed staff to help you think things through. And for society too, 
AI will be able to give us better, more intelligent guidance on how to approach our biggest challenges like climate change and pandemics. AI is the new electricity, and it is poised to revolutionize every industry and every corner of human life. Many of the fears about AI today are similar to the fears about electricity when that was new. People were terrified about electrocution or about electricity sparking devastating fires. Today, electricity still has its dangers, but I think few of us would give up light, heat, and refrigeration for fear of electrocution. Yes, AI today has flaws, and yes, in some cases, AI will cause harm. But we're improving the technology rapidly, and as we do, it will contribute to healthier, longer, and more fulfilling lives worldwide. And as the technology improves, the problems of AI that alarm us so much today will recede. But if we look beyond AI to the broader world, the world has many problems, many problems and challenges that deserve urgent solutions. And I think for all of us to address and solve these global problems, we will need all the intelligence, including. All the artificial intelligence we can muster. Thank you very much.